What's up YouTube, this is Matt, and today I'm coming at you guys with my full review of Glasswire, which is an awesome firewall, firewall software that allows you to monitor a lot of stuff related to your network traffic and information going in and out of your computer. A link to the Glasswire site where you can download this program will be in the description down below. Now there's both a free and various levels of paid versions of this software, and I'll go over those in this video. So I actually first heard about this software from Barnacles, who I'm sure many of you know about, and this is actually software he uses on all of his PCs and virtual machines. So when the guys at Glasswire actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review this software, I was all for it. So let's go ahead and open up Glasswire. So this has a lot of awesome features, even in the free version, so I'll first talk about everything that's free, and then I'll talk about the extra features you get with the paid version. So when you open up Glasswire, the first thing you'll see is this graph. Now this graph is pretty cool because it's basically showing you all the data coming in and out of your PC, and it shows what specific applications and programs are typed taking in or sending out this data. I think this is really awesome because seeing a moving graph with this information makes so much sense and it will make the information a lot easier to digest. Now you can actually click on any of these peaks and get more information about the specific peak in network activity. And what's cool is Glasswire will record all of this traffic while it's open so you can actually see the history of all this stuff and how far back you see depends on what version you have. And you can even filter this by app so you can see the specific activity of a single application. Which could come in handy if there's an app in question you think might be up to some weird activity. Also, you can view this information by traffic, which is basically just what way the information was sent or received. Now, if we move over to the firewall tab, this will show us all the applications that have accessed this network. Now, there are three options with this. The first is click to block, which allows you to block and unblock specific applications from accessing the network. There is also two paid features, which are block all and ask for permission which block all is pretty self-explanatory. It just blocks all incoming and outgoing network activity and ask for permission is nice because when an application wants to access the network, you get a message and can either block or allow access for this application. One example where this kind of stuff comes in handy is when using non-proprietary filament with my 3D printer, I had to block its slicing software from accessing the network to check the legitimacy of the filament cartridge, which allowed me to use much cheaper standard generic filament. So if we move one more tab over, we will find usage, which will basically show us and list what has been accessing the network the most and breaks it down by app, by host, and by traffic type. This is another good way of presenting all of this data to help you find exactly what you're looking for. And you can actually see whether the app was accessing the local network or the World Wide Web. Moving over one more tab, we'll find the network tab, which is a paid feature, and it basically shows everything on your local network, which to me is pretty awesome. So if you think your neighbors are connected to your Wi-Fi network and streaming Netflix and killing all your bandwidth, you can actually check all the individual devices on the network. And finally, there's the alert tabs, which basically will alert you when a new program or application is accessing the network, which is good because if you get an alert that a program you don't recall downloading tries to access the network, you can block its access and check it out to see if the program has good intentions or if it's trying to steal all your data. And because of the way Glasswire works, it's able to detect a lot of threats and malware that even antivirus software can't find, which is pretty cool. Now some of the other features you get with the full version include a mini graph for monitoring your network activity at all time without having to have the full application open. You can monitor other computers and servers up to 10 at the same time. There there are other skins if you want to change the look of the application. And finally, something that I think is very cool is the fact you can monitor your webcam and mic connection. So if you've ever been worried that NSA is spying on you with your microphone or webcam, you can actually catch applications or other things trying to access your mic and webcam, which is really awesome. Now, the only real downside of this program I can see is that you have to have it open all the time for it to to record and monitor all of your activity, and I actually found this to be a relatively demanding program in terms of a firewall, which probably won't amount to much, but is something to keep in mind. Overall, I really like this software and can easily recommend it. Also, I think the features of the paid version definitely justify the price. So yeah, this wraps this video up, guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing, and this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.